Hey everybody, what's up? It's Bob Smith and I'm coming to you about the recent violent crime increase that's been happening in Hawaii, but specifically on the island of Oahu. Um, we've seen a huge uptake in the past couple of years, but specifically in the past couple of months, um, attacks by teenagers that are roving in packs like hyenas, young teenagers, um, We've been told by the Honolulu Police Department that Waikiki is no longer safe and they can't protect you. Imagine that. Now, we've had a 16-year-old kid who was recently, him and a gang of his buddies were terrorizing um, a neighbor in Kalihi and the kid got shot and he got killed, unfortunately. And that's sad. But... It's happening because everybody is saying, oh, he's such a good kid, he's such a good kid. If he's a 16-year-old kid, why is he flashing gang signs and drinking out to the late hours of the night with a bunch of other underage kids? Why isn't he at home? And why is he uh, breaking and entering into somebody's house? So these sort of things are happening constantly. Uh, last week, there was a uh, one guy walked up to a gang of people that were parked in a parking lot at uh, Target and just walked up, pulled out a gun, robbed everybody of their gold chains. Another guy where there was road rage, which is happening constantly here in Hawaii, uh, cuts somebody off. The other guy yells at him, so he pulls out his gun and starts shooting at him. And in the midst of all this, Hawaii's Senator Carl Rhodes, he wants to further strip the rights of law-abiding citizens to be able to protect themselves. He wants to make you do a background check for purchasing ammunition. So if you want to give your grandfather a case of ammunition, if he's a recreational shooter, uh, Cocoa Head every weekend, or a league shooter, you want to give your grandpa a case of ammunition, or your dad, or your uncle, uh, Senator Carl Rhodes insists that you're going to have to have a background check. He wants to have all semi-automatic handguns banned in Hawaii. And he wants you to trust him and the government. Carl Rhodes, he doesn't live in Camp Fourth Housing, or Mayor Rights, or Kahalu, or Waianae, or Waipahu, or Eva Beach, or Lua Lua Lei. He doesn't live in those areas. And he doesn't care about the citizens of Hawaii as long as he continues to get votes. That's what he cares about, staying in power. Carl Rhodes is a socialist. He wants every resident of this state to be at the mercy of the criminals and the mercy of the Honolulu Police Department. Even though I've been to town hall meetings where the police officers there even told me because they recognized me. Hey, Master Smith, you know, some guys are not going to be able to defend their house and take care of problems the way that you can. And I said, that's exactly right. And yet Senator Carl Rhodes wants to disarm everybody. He wants to disarm everybody in the state of Hawaii. And he's been at this for nearly 10 years now. So you guys have to think about all the crimes because we're all going to Stolen Stuff Hawaii on Facebook and we're all reading and everybody is like, yep, keep voting Democrats. That'll teach you. It's the Democrats. Okay, so social media is a good place to voice, but you're not doing any changes. One of the things that has to change is law-abiding citizens need to take a stand even if it means you're willing to be arrested for it. You need to be able to stand up for yourself. You need to tell your politicians that you will not bow down to them and be forced to be helpless while politicians continue to let repeat violent offenders loose and turn them free on the streets to kill each other and kill innocent family members. You have to insist on that. And you're gonna have to start showing up at these town hall meetings and calling out senators like Carl Rhodes and Crazy Maisie Hirono and uh, socialist Brian Schatz. Brian Schatz, I don't even know what to say about him. 
the kid, the baby-faced boy, has never had to spend a night in a normal Hawaii neighborhood. And he sits up on the Capitol, looking down on all of us, and doing his best in his democratic socialist policies. And Carl Rhodes is at his beck and call. He's his pit bull. Carl Rhodes is the one who's trying to push through all of these different uh, bills to restrict law-abiding citizens in Hawaii. They already won't give law-abiding citizens concealed carry. Carl Rhodes will not answer one question. If you are unarmed, how do you defend yourself against an armed criminal? Carl Rhodes won't answer that question. So, you guys got to get involved. You guys got to follow what's happening in politics. The problem here in Hawaii is that the single action shooters, they don't care because that doesn't include them. And the trap shooters, they don't care. They're not going to get involved because it doesn't involve them. The uh, Ipsic shooters don't care because that doesn't involve them. And in the meantime, we're letting gangs of hyenas prowl neighborhoods, breaking into houses, home invasions, armed robberies. A bunch of these young teenage kids, and people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but they're gangs of Micronesians, uh, predominantly. And they're hanging out at bus stops with wrist rockets and lug nuts. How long until one of these innocent little 14-year-olds kills somebody with that slingshot? But Senator Carl Rhodes will not allow anyone the right to defend themselves. The, their Second Amendment right, which is your natural-born right as a citizen of this country, now, if you take a look at the Second Amendment, it doesn't say if you're in a militia. It doesn't say only if you're a, uh, a legal resident. It doesn't say um, if you're not a felon or you have a criminal history. It says everyone has the right to keep and bear arms. Every man, every woman, every store owner, every tenant of low-income housing that has to rent a room on a shanty and has locks that are so weak you can kick them open. They need to be able to defend themselves more than anybody. But you think Carl Rhodes cares about that? Think about that, people. Because we've been voting blindly and putting Democrats in office for so long, it's ridiculous. Now, I want you to think, and I want all of you to stand up and tell them that there will be no exceptions. You will not accept any legislation any changes in the legislation, like, oh, 10 round magazines only. Hawaii has done that now. Rifles can no longer have more than a 10 round magazine. It's not the magazine, people. And deaths by assault weapons don't even make the top 10 list of causes of death in this country. But they don't care. They want to slowly chip away at the foundation, which is your First and Second Amendment right, so that you have no rights, and that you are dependent on Carl Rhodes and the vermin, socialist, democratic government that continues to control Hawaii's population. You need to vote them out, and you need to tell them that you will not. You will not comply with any changes in the laws, and you will carry concealed. Because HPD will not even allow a law-abiding citizen to carry concealed. A lady who has to work the night shift and drive home into Kalihi, into Mayor Wright's housing in New Wanu, whenever there's 30 teenage boys out there with pellet guns and slingshots, and they're busting the windows out of her car when she has to pull up to the red light. She's not allowed to defend herself. That's what the laws are in Hawaii. So let's get this straight and let's have all of you in Hawaii start standing up to Carl Rhodes and the other Democratic Socialists who are trying to disarm you and say, no, you will not comply with any more regulations regarding your ability to keep and bear arms, to carry firearms on you and defend yourself. This is Bob Smith. Blood makes you related, but loyalty makes you family. Hopefully, none of you will be the next victim.